folks, David Creative Craft House to introduce you to a very interesting and difficult puzzle called Hoffman's uh, Packing Box. Uh, and it deals with a mathematical, mathematical principle called the inequality of the means. Um, in the case of n equals 3, which is what this puzzle represents, there's actually a little formula which you can see here, and I've laser engraved that uh, on the box. The inequality of the means um, it states that the arithmetic mean of a list of numbers is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of the same list of numbers. Now, practically speaking, what that translates to, into uh, for a puzzle, uh, and this puzzle, by the way, was uh, first envisioned by Professor Dean Hoffman of Auburn University in uh, 1978, and he did uh, provide me uh, permission to make this puzzle. Uh, is that um, you can take, uh, in the case of n equals 3, 27 of these identical blocks. Um, in this case, each block has a thickness of uh, 0.8 inches, a width here of 1.25, and a length of 1.55. The sum of those three numbers equals 3.6 inches. We can take these 27 blocks and pack them within a cube defined by the sum of three numbers, or 3.6 inches. So what we've done here is we've built a, a base, um, the uh, inner dimension here of which is exactly 3.6 inches. Your goal is to take the blocks and uh, build them in such, insert them into the base in such a way that uh, no block extends beyond the limits of the frame. Now you can see here, and it will come packed. Um, it will come packed like so, unsolved. Uh, you can see here that we're kind of overhanging up here, and we're and down here we're overhanging, and we're underhanging in, in this area here. So it, a, a total rearrangement, um, very difficult, uh, will result in the blocks fitting within the bays. Um, the number of solutions is, is more than one. I'm waiting for my mathematical friends to tell me exactly how many, but I believe in, in this case um, it's in the order of magnitude of, of 20 possible solutions. Good luck ever finding one. Uh, certainly a level 5 puzzle. Uh, nicely made, I think, a precision cut. Uh, we, we make these uh, blocks out of a, uh, an unusual wood, uh, typically found in, in guitars. It comes from uh, New Zealand. It's called uh, kori or uh, agatit uh, wood. Uh, and the base itself here, I used uh, cherry in this sample, which is probably what I'll primarily use. If I could switch it to maple or alder at times. Um, and the base, the very bottom of the base here, I, I've actually made from floorboard just because it, it provides a heft and a weight and a rigidity that I thought would be helpful for the uh, long-term uh, use of the puzzle. Um, I'll provide a little baggie for the pieces, a little mesh bag for the pieces. And um, also with the instruction sheet, I do provide the solution and uh, also uh, some references to some excellent uh, links that will get into the, the extensive mathematical analysis possible with this puzzle. Uh, as also with a little bit of writing on here. The puzzle was suggested to me by a, a prof professor at Carnegie Mellon uh, in the Math Science Department, uh, Boris uh, B-U-K-H, not sure how to pronounce the last name, who asked me if I could make it. And uh, upon re for further research and contacting uh, Dean Hoffman from Auburn University, who gave me permission, uh, I am delighted to be able to offer it. And I hope it's something you, you, you will enjoy. Thanks very much.